Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared two very easy multiply choice questions for you and as usual I recommend you to stop video here, read the questions, answers, choose the correct answer and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. And here is the first question. The universal blood donors for the ABO blood group system are and uh, here is the four answers to choose from. If you're still confused which answer to choose, here is my explanation. Imagine that we have uh, four blood groups and these blood groups defined by uh, antigens on the surface of the red blood cell. So imagine this is red blood cell uh, that belongs to the blood group A. That means that uh, on the surface this would have uh, antigens A. And in the serum of such blood group, we would uh, find uh, antibodies B. So the other group would be uh, blood group B. So on the surface, we would find, uh, let me choose the color, uh, antigens B. And in the blood serum, we would find antibodies A. And uh, third blood group would be blood group AB. That means that on the surface of the such red blood cell we can find uh, antigen A and also antigen B uh, determinants and uh, in the blood serum we wouldn't find neither antibodies B and antibodies A or otherwise they would fight uh, their own blood cells and destroy. So the last blood group would be blood group O and in this blood group we wouldn't have any antigens A or antigens B and in the serum of such uh, blood group, we would find both antibodies A and uh, antibodies B present. Of course, uh, as you understand, uh, people who has uh, blood group A also can uh, get blood group A. People who belong to the blood group B also can get uh, blood from the are the people who belong to the same blood group. And the same is true for the AB blood group and O. So everyone can get uh, uh, blood from their own group, but also some groups can get uh, blood from the other blood groups and uh, in their own turn can be donors for uh, other people who belong to other blood groups. Now, according to our picture, as you see, blood group O can be transfused to the people with blood group AB and uh, blood group AB doesn't have neither um, antibodies A or B present in their blood group and uh, red blood cells of the blood group O uh, doesn't have any antigens here. So, also this blood group can be uh, transfused and people with blood group B also can uh, get this blood group uh, because once again blood group O doesn't have neither antigens A or B and those uh, antibodies A present here they wouldn't attack uh, this um, red blood cells because these blood cells uh, lack these uh, antigens and also this blood group can be uh, transfused and people with blood group A also can get this blood group and uh, those uh, blood group A has in serum um, antibodies B because uh, red blood cells of the uh, blood group O doesn't have uh, antigens A or B on the surface also uh, this blood group as you see, uh, can be 
transfused to people uh, with blood group A. So as you see, people who belong to the blood group O are universal donors, and this is answer C. And also, according to this picture, you can find who is going to be universal recipient. Uh, for example, uh, blood group AB can get uh, blood from the uh, blood group uh, B because uh, blood group AB has uh, antigens uh, B present here and uh, no antibodies. So if uh, this recipient would get this uh, blood group, uh, it wouldn't be rejected because uh, this blood group doesn't have antibodies uh, B present. And uh, this is true for the other blood groups. So the same is true for the blood group A. Because blood group uh, AB doesn't have uh, antibodies A and B, also this wouldn't reject uh, red blood cells with uh, A antigens on the surface. And of course it uh, also can get uh, blood group O because uh, red blood cells of this uh, blood group doesn't have any antigens on the surface of the red cells at all. So as you see we have here a uh, universal donor who is uh, belong to the blood group O and universal recipient who belongs to the blood group AB. Usually textbooks uh, stop the explanation here and some people are left with their minds blown because they do not understand how blood group O can be universal donor because this blood group has antibodies A and B present in their serum and if uh, we transfuse this blood group for example to um, someone who belongs to the blood group A and has antigens A on the surface of the red blood cells antibodies A of the blood group O would kill such cells because uh, they have uh, such cells have uh, antigens A and uh, blood group O has antibody A in the blood uh, serum and uh, the same is true for the blood group B that has antigens uh, B present on the surface of the red blood cells and that means antibodies of the blood group O would kill also such cells and of course uh, serum of the blood group O would fight uh, all the uh, red blood cells of the blood group AB. So how it is possible that this blood group is universal donor? And the answer is that uh, usually blood is never transfused as it is. It is separated to its uh, components. And mine component would be uh, red cells. Another component would be serum. And uh, other components would be uh, white blood cells that belong to the immune system. So usually these white cells are separated and uh, serum also separated. And uh, all these components would be transfused separately from the rest. And people who, for example, lose a lot of blood during their surgery would uh, get only red blood cells and uh, those people who suffer for example severe burning they would need first uh, of all serum so uh, serum would be transfused that is compatible with the blood of the recipient and uh, in other cases when people have a severe bacterial disease um, or people whose immune system is compromised, for example, who has AIDS, they would get uh, white blood cells in order to support their own immune system. So now I think this would be clear for you how all these blood transfusions happens and we can move to the other question.
And next question is, which of the following statements is true about ABO blood system? Answer A. It was discovered in, in the 1950s and this is not true because the system were discovered in 1900. So we left with three answers. We also can cross out answer D, A and B because we already crossed out answer A. Usually people get catched uh, in uh, such answers because they see that, uh, for example, one answer is correct and they are not uh, sure about the other answer, so they prefer to choose such answers, that is A and B. Uh, but uh, this is not our case today and we left with two answers B and C. It was discovered by Carl von Steiner and um, Answer C. Few people are actually typed for this system because of the difficulty of the procedure and higher cost. And of course this is not true. Answer C. Uh, procedure is very simple and cost associated with this procedure is very low. So we left with only one answer B. It was discovered by Carl von Steiner and this is true. But also I want to comment that other people about the same time independently discovered this blood group system and uh, Carl von Steiner were credited later for this discovery and got his Nobel Prize but he discovered only three blood groups. He discovered blood group O, A and B but other people for example as Jan Janek in Czech Republic discovered also blood group um, AB and uh, he named this system slightly different. He gave uh, numbers to each blood group. Uh, for example, uh, in the former USSR republics, they know their blood group as not A or B, AB or O blood group, but by numbers. For example, blood group O is uh, blood group 1 and blood group A is blood group 2, blood group B is blood group number 3 and blood group AB is number 4. Once again uh, this system were uh, developed by uh, Jan Janek and uh, for example I uh, always know that my blood group is uh, 2 positive to RH positive, but ABO blood group uh, system notation is more um, logical and easy to memorize. So just in case if you would travel to former Soviet republics, now you would know also uh, which blood group you belong to. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.